Christmas is the time we celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ. Before Christ was born, history is called B.C. After the birth of Jesus, history is called A.D. Those letters stand for Anno Domini, which is Latin for the year of our Lord. Before Jesus was born as a little baby, he was with God in heaven. Jesus has always lived. He has no beginning and he has no end. There was a great prophet named Isaiah. He lived about 700 years before Jesus was born. He said, Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. The prophet Micah foretold where this child would be born, in the town of Bethlehem. There were 365 prophecies about the Jewish Messiah. Jesus fulfilled all of them. The first one that Jesus fulfilled was the promise that God gave to Eve. God said that someday one of Eve's descendants would defeat Satan. Many years later, God promised Abraham that this child would be one of his descendants and that all the nations of the earth would be blessed in him. All the generations from Abraham to David are fourteen generations, and from David to the taking away to Babylon, fourteen generations, and from the taking away to Babylon to the coming of Christ, fourteen generations. There was a very good old couple who had prayed for many years to have a child. The husband was a priest in the temple. His name was Zechariah, and his wife was Elizabeth. One day, when he was serving in the temple, he saw a bright and glorious angel. And Zechariah was troubled when he saw him, and fear came on him. But the angel said, Have no fear, Zechariah, for your prayer has come to the ears of God, and your wife Elizabeth will have a son, and his name will be John and you will be glad and have great delight, and numbers of people will have joy at his birth, for he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He will not take wine or strong drink, and he will be full of the Spirit of God from his birth, and through him great numbers of the children of Israel will be turned to the Lord their God, and he will go before his face in the spirit and power of Elijah, turning the hearts of fathers to their children and wrongdoers to the way of righteousness, to make ready a people whose hearts have been turned to the Lord. And Zechariah said to the angel, How may I be certain of this? For I am an old man, and my wife is far on in years. And the angel answering said, I am Gabriel, whose place is before God. I have been sent to say these words to you and to give you this good news. Now see, you will be without voice or language till the day when these things come about, because you did not have faith in my words, which will have effect at the right time. And the people were waiting for Zechariah and were surprised because he was in the temple for such a long time. And when he came out, he was not able to say anything. And they saw that he had seen a vision in the temple and he was making signs to them without words. And when the days of his work in the temple were ended, he went back to his house. After that time, Elizabeth, being certain that she was to become a mother, kept herself from men's eyes for five months, saying, The Lord has done this to me, 
for his eyes were on me to take away my shame in the eyes of men. Six months later, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town in Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin who was to be married to a man named Joseph of the family of David. And the name of the virgin was Mary. And the angel came to her and said, Peace be with you, to whom special grace has been given. The Lord is with you. But Mary was greatly troubled at his words, and she said to herself, What may be the purpose of these words? And the angel said to her, Have no fear, Mary, for you have God's approval. And see, you will give birth to a son, and his name will be Jesus. He will be great, and will be named the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the kingdom of David, his father. He will have rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How may this be, because I am a virgin? And the angel in answer said to her, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will come to rest on you. And so that which will come to birth will be named Holy, Son of God. Even now, Elizabeth, who is of your family, is to be a mother, though she is old. And this is the sixth month with her who is without children. For with God nothing is impossible. And Mary said, I am the servant of the Lord. May it be to me as you say. And the angel went away. Then Mary got up and went quickly into the highlands to a town of Judah, and went into the house of Zechariah, and took Elizabeth in her arms. And when the voice of Mary came to the ears of Elizabeth, the baby inside her made a sudden move. He jumped. Then Elizabeth was full of the Holy Spirit, and she said with a loud voice, May blessing be on you among women, and a blessing on the child of your body. How is it that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For truly, when the sound of your voice came to my ears, the baby in my body made a sudden move for joy. Happy will she be who had faith that the things which the Lord has said to her will be done. And Mary said, My soul gives glory to God. My spirit is glad in God my Savior, for he has had pity on his servant, though she is poor and lowly placed. And from this hour will all generations give witness to the blessing which has come to me. For he who is strong has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for all generations, in whom is the fear of him. With his arm he has done acts of power. He has put to flight those who have pride in their hearts. He has put down kings from their seats, lifting up on high the men of low degree. Those who had no food he made full of good things, the men of wealth he sent away with nothing in their hands. His help he has given to Israel, his servant, so that he might keep in mind his mercy to Abraham and his seed forever, as he gave his word to our fathers. And Mary was with her for about three months, and then went back to her house. Now it was time for Elizabeth to give birth, and she had a son and it came to the ears of her neighbors and relations that the Lord had been very good to her, and they took part in her joy. And on the eighth day they came to see the circumcision of the child, 
and they would have given him the name of Zecharias, his father's name. But his mother made answer and said, No, his name is John. And they said, Not one of your relations has that name. And they made signs to his father to say what name was to be given to him. And he sent for writing materials and put down, His name is John. And they were all surprised. And straight away his mouth was open, and his tongue was free, and he gave praise to God, and he prophesied. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was in this way. When his mother Mary was going to be married to Joseph, before they came together, the discovery was made that she was with child by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her husband, being an upright man and not desiring to make her a public example, had a mind to put her away privately. But when he was giving thought to these things, an angel of the Lord came to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, have no fear of taking Mary as your wife, because that which is in her body is of the Holy Spirit, and she will give birth to a son, and you will give him the name Jesus, for he will give his people salvation from their sins. Now all this took place so that the word of the Lord by the prophet might come true. See, the virgin will be with child, and will give birth to a son, and they will give him the name Emmanuel, that is, God with us. And Joseph did as the angel of the Lord had said to him, and took her as his wife, and he had no connection with her till she had given birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Now it came about in those days that an order went out from Caesar Augustus that there was to be a numbering of all the world. And all men went to be numbered, every one to his town. And Joseph went up from Galilee out of the town of Nazareth into Judea to Bethlehem to the town of David, because he was of the house and family of David, to be put on the list with Mary, his future wife, who was about to become a mother. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth, and she had her first son. And folding him in linen, she put him to rest in the place where the cattle had their food, because there was no room for them in the house. And in the same country, there were keepers of sheep in the fields, watching over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord came to them, and the glory of the Lord was shining round about them, and fear came on them. And the angel said, Have no fear, for truly I give you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For on this day, in the town of David, a Savior has come to birth, who is Christ the Lord. And this is the sign to you. You will see a young child folded in linen in the place where the cattle have their food. And suddenly there was with the angel a great band of spirits from heaven giving praise to God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on the earth peace among men with whom he is well pleased. And when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the keepers of the sheep said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come about, which the Lord has made clear to us. And they came quickly and saw Mary and Joseph and the child in the place where the cattle had their food. And when they saw it, they told what the angels had said to them about the child. And everyone who heard what the shepherds said were full of wonder. 
But Mary kept all these words in her heart and gave much thought to them. Then the shepherds went back, giving glory and praise to God for all the things which had come to their ears and which they had seen as it had been said to them.